Hello and welcome back to another episode of Unleashing Your Potential. I hope you're having a blessed and fantastic day wherever you're at in the world. And if, well, if you're not, you probably could. Uh, if you haven't taken the time to uh, subscribe to my channel, please uh, like and subscribe. I uh, really appreciate it. It helps me uh, with visibility. So by you liking and subscribing, it actually gets this message through my different uh, podcasts into more people's ears. And the more people that uh, we can reach with a message of, you know, inspiring, hope, wisdom, whatever we want to call it, uh, a lesson learned, the better. So without without ado, I, I thank you and let's move on. Um, today I want to talk about winning. Winning and losing, right? And positivity. This word positivity. So we've often been told to be very optimistic and try to have a positive mindset. But it's not always that it's not always that way. And if we wake up every day and we're like, "Well, I'm going to be just so happy today," you're probably going to find something to piss you off from the thought of trying to be so happy because you're going against, in that moment, what it is. You can say, "I love the sun and it's raining." All of a sudden, it just starts raining. Where did the sun go? Do you still love the sun? Is the rain going to stay forever? No, the sun will come back. The rain will subside. But in that moment, could you stay positive if you wanted to have a sunny day and it started to rain on your parade? I mean, we make up terms like rain on your parade and certain things of resistance. This is more of a mentality thing than anything else. So to think positive is not really that way. Because then every time that something goes wrong, my positive thinking goes out the window. Where's the value in this? Like, this is why so many people fail. They fail it. I just tried that positive thinking mode. I just can't do it. Blah, blah, blah. They're approaching it the wrong way. And they're not even aware. So how do you approach it in a way that makes awareness to the forefront of positivity of the word? So you don't get rained on your parade, so to speak. Well, it's really not that difficult. But let's use another example just so we can let it sink in a little bit deeper. Uh, what I want you to think of a sports team that you like, and for this narrowing it down, we're going to say American football. Uh, if you don't know any American football, well, then just choose a team that you like. <clears throat> Once you have that team in mind, imagine that when you go to their games, they never lose. No matter what happens, they never ever lose. Every time you go, they win. They always win. Hey, I tell you, you want to go see that game next week? Well, what, what do you think is going to happen? You think it's going to be exciting? And there's going to be any kind of, you know they're going to win. And they're going to win by the exact same score every time. The same plays are going to have, everything's going to be the same. They're going to win. Man, that positivity would suck. Takes the fun out of it. Takes the fun out of the challenge. How, how can I be positive about something I already know is going to happen? It's boring. You see, so positivity isn't always the way it seems. So people will beat themselves up because they don't think they're positive enough in life. They don't think they're showing up enough with a smile. And a lot of times they show up with a fake smile that we see right through. I mean, how many people do you see um, at work, in the streets, people who greet you? You know, people who greet you at, at Walmart or somebody at, let's say, Circle K that's checking you out. We know when they say, have a nice day. Do you think they give a fuck if you have a nice day or not? Do you think they go home wondering, I wonder if that person had a nice day? It's a fucking act. I mean, come on, we gotta call it for what it is. So what do we do about that? How do we take things? How do we how do we take things in the world that are as they are? So no matter what I do, if it fucking rains on my parade, I'm screwed. How do I turn positivity and make it serve me? What would I have to do? I'm asking you, what would I have to do? All right, let's. Uh, since I'm my only, my only, my only guy here, and I don't have any guests, and I can't hear you in real time, I'm sure you came up with some really cool answers. But I'm gonna put a spin on on this for you. I want you to imagine that it's raining on our parade. It just starts pouring on a birthday party that you have planned outside. Everybody's outside. It just ruined everything. You can't barbecue. It was supposed to be a 75 degrees wind storm. Rank it ruins everything. Everything gets ruined. Now, you have a choice. To so let it rain on your parade. But let's, let's run through what happens, okay? In this hypothetical situation. 
you're planning a party, say a birthday party outside, you've rented a jumper, say for your child, you've rented a jumper, a barbecue, you have a clown, all the tables are made up, the food's outside, it's all ready to go. You were not planning for any bad weather because there was no bad weather in the forecast. When all of a sudden the sun starts to subside and a little bit of clouds roll in. And you start to think to yourself, wait a minute, this isn't supposed to happen like that. What happened to this positive vibe that we had going? Remember, you have a very positive vibe when this is beginning. Now here comes the clouds and the rain and you're, oh shit, 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 something's going to happen. And you start, start to worry. So now, now a thought of, oh my God, I'm not ready for this. What am I going to do? Panic sets in. You feel a drop of, a drop of rain. It's inevitable. A storm is coming. You can no longer run away. It's going to rain on your parade. So you don't want things to be worse than they already are. So you start to gather things and put them in a place where they won't be affected by the rain. People come to assist you. They come to help you and everybody begins to work together as they get ready to try to get out of this storm. We we'll make sure the presents don't get ruined. Try to get the cake out of there. Keep everybody dry and prepare the best that we can. The storm will finally start to subside and the rain goes away and we can resume our outdoor activities. And what do we what do we take from this day? We resume the party and ooh, we're gonna fast forward about an hour later where he's about to blow out the candles. It's a very special moment. Everybody starts cheering by now. It's fresh because it rained, but it's not hot and it's not cold. Everything is dried up. And everybody's laughing and enjoying each other's company as the barbecues, grilling the hot dogs and the hamburgers. And it's the best day ever. There were lessons learned. Next time, get a tent. Next time, be prepared. But the lessons were learned were learned through the journey, through the triumph. We worked together. We helped each other. We got better. They helped me put things away. I helped them put things away. And before you know, we worked together as a family and we enjoyed our moment and we overcame. There's the lesson learned through adversity. The adversity is teaching you be more prepared. But it's in the doing where all the bonding happens, where all the true exchange happens. Not the fake smiles. But to help me get this table over there because we'll both get wet if we don't. Action. You see, so positivity took on a different route. Positivity turned into a lesson. A lesson to be learned. So when it rained on your parade, you understood that from this rain, there is raining, there is a reason, and I will learn a lesson from this. It will not break me because I am a learning machine. And being a learning machine that can't be broken, I will continually grow, evolve, and become because it is my right and it is my destiny as a human being, as a man, as a woman, as a human being to decide how I want to think, how I want to feel, and how I want to live. Nobody can get into my mind that I do not allow to reside there. Imagine. I'm sure all of you work very hard, pay your bills on time the best that you can. Imagine somebody living in your house, defecating on your floor, urinating in your refrigerator, and uh, walking around farting at will. You don't know this person. They sleep in front of your TV. They change the channel. They eat your food. Would you allow them to just stay living in your house? Of course not. It's ridiculous. You would never allow that. But we allow thoughts and we think that our positivity will kick all these thoughts out. But those thoughts are just living in our head. But we can see the lesson, the lesson, the lesson is don't ever let somebody like that in your house. And if you notice this in your house, start cleaning up your mind. And when you do this, nothing can get in that you don't allow in. This is how you start to make posit positivity serve you in a way that you can do it, whether it rains, snows. Or it's a beautiful sunny day because you learned a lesson from the experience. This is the gift that you're given every day that you get to open different ways. Through your day and through your life, you have the opportunity to always evolve your being, to grow, to understand that positivity 
isn't what it seems. Positivity is a matter of lessons and overcoming and being in moments of euphoria that come with moments of struggle. And this is life. From ashes to ashes and dust to dust, from from breath in to breath out, we're, we're constantly evolving through a series of up and down movements. Movements that we're unaware of at a molecular, at a cellular level where we're constantly living and dying within ourselves. But if we really, really want to live, like really, really want to live, we got we to gotta live at a point where we see evolution as our growth right. And positivity will begin to serve us in ways that it had never served us before. I hope you have a blessed and fantastic day. I've gone over my 10 minutes for my 10 minutes of wisdom talk. But remember, positivity is a lesson every time, whether it's good or whether it's bad, to evolve consistently in the moments of your life. Until next time, I hope you have a blessed and fantastic day. Please like and subscribe, and thank you for taking the time to listening. I'm out.